Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got some more Pokemon leaks to go over. We've got loads more prototype of um, the X and Y um, stuff to go over. And uh, yeah, that's practically it. Um, not really much apart from that. Uh, but this, I believe, is going to be the last of the X and Y prototype stuff. And we'll talk about the future of that in the future uh, in this video. So if you're going to enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe brand new. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right on into it. So this is the first thing here. It is from Riddler Q. It's it goes a little bit about um, ZA. Um, he says, um, well, I've heard some bad news. You know what happened recently? And, and sure, a lot would be changed, adjusted or procrastinated. Could get worse if more shows up in the near future. Depends on the situation. Um, and this is interesting. Blazing Cinderor is saying that underneath it, it could be a chance that Legend ZA um, could get cancelled, which is terrifying. Um, but I doubt it because they've probably poured so much money into this. It'll probably just get delayed or um, literally everything changed um, to do with the game. But uh, yeah, interesting um, fact there. Because sure, you'd think they wouldn't, um, you know, do that. Um, surely they wouldn't. Know all the money they put into this. Um, but you'd think they'd probably change um, part of the game so the leaks are wrong. But uh, who knows? Um, so some information there could get ch massively changed from what we've seen. But obviously we haven't seen anything of ZA yet. So, well, who knows? All we know is that Stunfisk and the Shire sounds in the game. But yeah, a little bit of an information uh, there. So up next, this is um, some gameplay here. So we've got loads of gameplay here from um, Punky. It's uh, Terminus Cave, which obviously is Zygarde's house and X and Y Beta. No Zygarde, but obviously they already thought about it. Obviously Terminus Cave um, does exist. As you see, this is the inside. Um, normally Zygarde is just chilling in there. But obviously, um, you know, it's not there. So uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Um, up next, I've even got quite a lot of stuff from him to go over, just loads of gameplay. Um, and apparently my laptop just couldn't handle it and wanted to refresh the whole page. Um, yeah, there is quite a bit of this to go over. Um, here we go, Zygarde's house. So it's just here. Um, so not really much, really. So obviously this is uh, Coraway Town. Obviously, I'm not going to sit and watch the whole two minutes because I realised the whole video earlier was just me sitting watching this stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I'm guessing this is a Pokemon Center. It's just an empty door that you find. Yes. Uh, no, this is just a random person's house. Um, so yeah, just, you know, some. Um, it, it, all this stuff is more of the same. Um, it's just got this the same different layout of what the town would be. But they're all basically the exact same uh, video near enough. This is Route 19. It has many crashes. Um, so glad that that got patched out um, when it came to it. Although the sign says Route 20. So um. Maybe that was a, a typo. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but obviously it's just the route. Nothing really has changed much here, um, apart from obviously the main character sprite, which obviously will always change um, because that's not the sprite that uh, we were given. Um, up next, this is Snowbell City um, pre-alpha. There is nothing even though the city's big, so again, it's just blocks. Um, can't go into anything, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna watch that because you don't know what Snowbell looks like. It's just, it's just empty. Um, and as you can see here, this is from Thing. So the ROM beta of Pokemon X is officially ended. I can't go anywhere without any crashes and I can't continue. It was really fun. Hopefully we get another ROM with more interesting, interesting stuff. Still waiting for what's next. So what is next? Obviously, uh, we've already gone through all this. Um, what is next? Um, basically, uh, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon, everything, has, everything that's been in the game has already been leaked to the public like many years ago. So um, they're not going to um, uh, show it to anyone um, because obviously we all know the leaks have before. So uh, yeah, obviously, um, again, I agree. I back this. Apologies to Game Freak and all that. Obviously, the leak was pretty crap. We don't want it, don't want you to get leaked. But obviously, we're not covering it to hate. We're just covering it so people and our viewers and that you know like to see the stuff and they can see how the games were made. But obviously, if you want to take them down, just take it down. You know, I'm not going to appeal it. It's all good. Um, but up next, we have some stuff. Uh, this is some people that were um, you know, kind of scared about this. Uh, Legends EA has not leaked. No footage or pictures or ROMs have been leaked. All we know about it is that Stunfisk is in it, uh, Sparkle's back, and it's good. That's, you know, that's all we need to know. 
that's all we know and that's probably all we all that we will know because obviously like i said they're not going to the league has said they're not going to shove anything about za because obviously if they do that then it will probably completely throw away loads of stuff and uh, we'll never get the game but Anyway, that's it for ZA. I'm just going to quickly go through everything here. Um, I think uh, for the leaks, I think yes. Yeah, so up next, we have some information on um this here when it loads. This is uh, the two versions of Gen 10, which are Pokemon of which are called Codename Gaia. So firstly, this is just a theory. Um, but obviously, it's uh might not be uh it might not be true, but uh, it's just a theory. So in the Terra League, there are two versions of the game, in two versions of future games called Gen 10, with the code name Gaia in the code. Uh, two versions are called K and N, and K is called Wind, and N is called Wave. And as you know, Game Freak like to leave clues in future games. Um, and obviously, how early city? There's a sign mentioned Blue Sky and Blue Sea. So we could. Uh, so obviously, it doesn't mean that the names to be called that, but it's mentioned that its new two games are inspired by Alola with many islands and water. Um, obviously, will it? Is it a legit thing? Who knows? Um, but yeah, Sky and Pokemon Sky and Sea. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool names, to be honest. Um, obviously, it's still loads of islands. How do you get to the islands? Through the sky or through the sea? Obviously, we have just glossed over this room. We didn't read it all properly, this theory. But uh, potential names are Pokemon Sky and Pokemon Sea, which is uh, pretty cool. Up next, as well, here's something, something that's been looking at in, us, in our face the entire time the Kalos map. Uh, it's been, it's just in the middle of it. It's got a ZA. How cool is that? If you, yeah, don't know if it means anything, but uh, yeah, the scrapped map. This is the scrapped map, by the way. It's not um, someone drew over it. This is a scrapped map that has ZA written on it, which is uh, absolutely insane. Um, doesn't really mean anything, but uh, it was in 2012. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, up next, obviously, we have some more beta sprites. Um, not much. Again, this is just um, when it eventually loads. Jesus Christ. Um, Obviously, quite a lot of this black and white stuff was on that video that I linked earlier, so you can check that out in the earlier video. Um, but this is a beta sprite for um, a Hex Maniac, which obviously the you are not the one person. Um, this is obviously some Gen 5 beta sprites for Iris and Chili and Older, because um, now all the um, Pokemon Gen 5 stuff is completely done now, uh, with all the beta sprites and obviously... Um, all this gameplay stuff, um, as we've covered that one earlier. Uh, this one here, again, it's all in on YouTube on another video by um, these two people here, by Ramirin and Bedbo. I obviously, I have um, linked them in the description in the last video, and they've done like loads of other cool stuff as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is the last one we're going to cover to do with X and Y. It's the boutique music. Not much has changed, though, apart from the... Um, the music slightly changed with the bass of the, when it drops. Yeah, it just repeats itself, the do 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 bit. Um, but yeah, that, that is of, that's the unreleased music for X and Y for the BT, which is kind of cool. I actually really like that. Um, I never really heard the BT one before, and I look at the comparison. And not much has changed apart from the beginning notes are different until uh, the main beat drops, which is kind of cool. But as mentioned earlier, we are going to talk about now, this is the end of the video, so you can click off now if you don't really care about the leak stuff. Um, but we're going to talk about a little bit more. Um, basically, as mentioned, Sun and Moon have already been dropped. Like many years ago, um, I'm just refreshing because it came through, but nothing. Um, you can watch this little animation. Um, the Sun and Moon stuff was already dropped many, many years ago. Um, so with all the leaks and stuff, we're not going to cover that because it was already leaked many years ago, and the leakers aren't going to show us that. So up next, uh, depending on when it is, it might, they said there might be a couple of days, or it could be tomorrow. We don't know. Is uh, Pokemon Let's Go, Sword and Shield, and BSP Legends and um, Scarlet and Violet. So. We're officially done with the ZS stuff, and we're going to be moving on to the uh, Switch stuff. So very, very interesting. But we'll find out what happens there in the next video. As always, I say it's the end of X and Y, because they said it is, but they might find some stuff. But as always, I will see you again tomorrow with any major leaks that are covered. Uh, around lunchtime, as always, uh, you'll get a decently long video like this one. 
um, providing there is uh, decent leaks. If not, I should check out the Discord in the description for updates on uh, how these leaks are going, so that I can tell you if there's a video coming or not, and uh, the YouTube community tab, because I post them on there as well. But that's it for me, though. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in a bit.